Right, so here I will be working on an uh, ACES uh, model number K501U and this came in with uh, not, no power, not charging seems like the charging port is uh, bad, it works sometimes sometimes it doesn't, so let's take a look we took off the cover here. And this would be the charging port. So we are, um, uh, in this video I will do some explanation on port, charging port diagnostics and repair. So first of all, When you plug in a good node charger, so there's a couple uh, couple ways you could go uh, with. You could just plug in a charger, which is uh, a pretty good way. When you plug in the charger, you just one probe on ground, voltage. And we only got 0 0.02 volts. In this case, we either have a short uh, in the laptop that's draining all the power, or we're not having a good connection. So, but in this case, uh, let's try to wiggle the charger a bit. Okay, let's put this here. Good here. Okay, okay there, there you go. See, all right. So, as soon as I wiggle. The charger back and forth we're getting voltage up and down and then we're, we're losing the voltage but all right so as you can see we move it and get voltage seems like the jack is broke uh, the other way is we could put the uh, diode mode And to get a diode reading here, and one probe on the, it's going to be on the internal pin, that's the positive pin, and as you can see we are having connection here. As soon as you move the pin the other way, it loses connection. Let me show you on the microscope, let's hope we get a better view on the microscope. Okay, so here's the jack. This is the middle pin, which is the positive. Positive lead. And as you can see, we wiggle it back and forth. We get no connection. All right. Well, the, in this case, it's it's all the way gone. In some cases, you could wiggle it, get some connection on and off. But in this case, it's gone. There's no connection at all. So we know it's the power jack that's bad. And in this case. Actually, once I take out the jack, I will show you a better view of what's going on. But for now, let's take the board out and see what we could do.
right, so we'll get the replacement jack. Put some flux. Let's get the vacuum going. Get a better view. So first I'm going to add some low melt solder. Go ahead and touch this up. I think the jack is almost ready to come off. It's ready to come off. Okay, we're gonna do some cleaning to this area. Just a tiny bit of cleaning. These things like to get stuck here. Okay, we get the new jack. And let's get some paste. I don't know why I always call it paste. Let's put in some flux here. Get the jack going. Okay, so first thing, um, I'm gonna put something, some sort of just to hold it in place. As you can see here, okay, 
Okay, so this should be good to hold it in place. Make sure I'm going to get this in place as well. And from here we could go ahead and solder all the rest of them. Do some more cleaning. Beautiful. As you can see. As good as new. And this And let me show you on this older jack. Let me see if I could get you a better view here on this camera. So as you can see, this is the positive lead. And it's gone. It's all the way out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this board back in place. just for testing and I'm going to plug it up without a battery for now turn it on and let's hope we get some screen here so we call this a fix Even though it's already a fix, I mean it's, it's charging now, the charging port is working. But we still got to see, uh, make sure we get the screen. And as you can see, we got a, the BIOS screen because the SSD is still out here. So um, this should be a done fix. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will do more videos.